Welcome to Ko Young here at SMT AI. Uh, delighted to be joined by Juan Arango. Good to see you again, Juan. Good to see you. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Um, but you've got some really exciting news because just a few weeks ago, you moved into a brand new facility uh, in Atlanta. Uh, Absolutely. And I could tell, you know, you were talking about it earlier, you're, you're all excited about it. So give us, give us some of the highlights of this new place. So we're very happy. Uh, it's a space that we can still grow into a little bit. Uh, we went from 6,500 square feet to 11,200. And uh, the warehouse is uh, very small because we decided to keep the machines in Arizona. No sense bringing them to the East Coast and then have to ship them back. Right. So it's usable space. Mm -hmm. The demo room is a state of the art. It looks fantastic. We've got 10 uh, machines in there right now and uh, we left a little space to put a mounter. So I'll be talking with some of my partners and see uh, who can uh, put a mounter in there. Uh, so so you get 10 machines is a lot of machines, but then you've also got, presumably you've got a printer in there? We have a printer, so KPO, we can show all of that. Right. And we've got uh, for pre and post reflow, we do not plan on having uh, an oven. That, I don't think that's in, in, our, in the cards. Right. But uh, we're trying to simulate that. Mm -hmm. But then uh, in the past, we had one room for our demo and training. So when we, you, you did one, you couldn't do the other. Right. So now the demo room is standalone. And then we have two training rooms, each one with a machine. So the way we're looking at it is a playground for our customers to be able to take uh, what they need to the next level. They can bring boards, play with it, uh, try different machines. It's, it was designed for their use, kind of their Toys R Us. Bad analogy because that closed, but it's, you know, the ability for them to, it's easier for them to bring a board. We're willing to bring a machine into their facility, but some companies don't want to do that. But this, this gives them the opportunity to get to really get to know the machine more in depth, get really familiar with it, and they've got the expertise on hand if they've got any questions. Absolutely, and that that's the big benefit for them that uh, they're not by themselves. We're going to coach them along and show them uh, best practices and things like that. Right. In our what we call the bullpen, which is an area that has 16 cubicles, uh, we have allocated five or six, and that's how, what they asked: five or six. Mm -hmm for R&D software developers for vision algorithms. Okay. So we're in the process of interviewing. Uh, we have one that uh, is negotiating right now, but uh, we have several people helping us uh, identify talent because one of the things that uh, headquarters wants is the ability of these software developers to be closer to the machine so they can see their uh, influence in the final product. Right. That's interesting. So you're, you're hiring, you've got five or six spaces to fill. Uh, and for that's just software developers. Software developers that, that, are, that are working specifically in vision. Correct. So the, the office has 24 desks, mm -hmm. and right now there's only 12. So if you take the five or six software developers, there's still uh, several more that we have to add. Right. And it's, it'll be on the support side. So let's talk about the training a little bit. Uh, you've got different levels of training. How does that work? Uh, so we handle it different in US and Mexico because Mexico can install several machines in one place and it's easier to come to us. So that's why we opened the Mexico facility. But in the US, the level one is typically done on site mm -hmm. just to get them going. But the advanced training, we, uh, we ask them to come to us so there's no interruptions and it's more, they play and they try and it's uh, more interactive. We prefer smaller groups. We can do a class with eight, but we prefer no more than four. And that gives them the ability, they can bring their own board, they you know, do all their uh, playing around and testing and, and seeing what happens when you do a certain algorithm or a certain feature. Right. Presumably you've got test boards that you will give them to test them and uh, make sure they can find the def defects, etc. Uh, correct. We have uh, all our engineers carry a what we call a demo test board, and each one knows what defects they have, and it's up to the uh, the person that they're training to program the board, and then run and see how well they do to that board. Yes. Okay. So, um, Productronic is just around the corner. Um, so I know that's a big event for Co Young. What have you got coming out new at Productronica? So the newest product we have is uh, we continue to evolve with our AOI product and we have taken the uh, Zenith and created a new product called the Zenith Alpha. Okay. 
And what that is, it's a four-way machine, but uh, we're trying to leave the light as a into retirement mm -hmm. because it's kind of like the light. It's a four-way, mm -hmm. but th this four-way will be able to uh, enjoy a higher resolution camera, so to improve the speed and the resolution. Mm -hmm. So it'll come in three flavors, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have it at Protonic. Pro right, so Protonica. Fast, super fast, and lightning speed. Uh, correct. Okay. And with capability of higher height. Right, okay. Um, I believe you've also made some upgrades to K-Smart. Yes. So K-Smart, uh, will, we will unveil version 2.0 at Protronica, and it's taking that uh, data crunching and artificial intelligence embedded in it to the next level. So it's something that uh, preliminary uh, feedback we're getting from people that have been playing with it that, wow, this, this really is getting to where I need it to be. Right, right. And you've also increased the speed on the, the automatic programming, I believe, as well. Right. So our KAP, or the adva uh, auto programming, uh, it's something that we released a couple of weeks ago, and it's working very well. It's finally uh, something that we could really use because uh, one of the issues, in, especially in our market, we're a a high mix, low volume shop. Yeah. So if you're doing lots of small number of boards, it takes you longer to program the board than it is to run the job. Right. So we actually use that uh, tool at an evaluation at a customer and we cut the uh, programming time to one fifth of what it used to be. Wow. It was able to recognize 70 to 80% mm -hmm. of the parts that you didn't have to do anything to, so you just go do the other few parts. Few parts, yeah. That's incredible. Great. So, lots to see at Productronica. Um, I take it, will you be over there yourself? Oh, I plan on being there. That's the largest show. Uh, there's a debate if uh, Apex or Productronica, size-wise Productronica is, but uh, Dr. Co considers Apex the premier show. Really? That's yes. interesting to know, but there you go. Great. Well, congratulations on the opening of the new the new center, uh, Juan. Uh, and uh, come by and see it. We will for sure. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Okay.